The goal of this work is to create technology that gives legged robots much greater endurance. To let them walk much further and do much more on a single battery charge. To make them more practical for disaster response and other important work. Our first robot, Stepper, was designed to be a test bed for joint level mechanisms to improve energy efficiency. Based on what we learned from Stepper, we designed a second robot named Wanderer. This is our Wanderer robot, the second robot that we've built after the Stepper robot, so we've made a lot of improvements on it. Utilizing some lightweight design techniques and machining, um, we were able to shave off close to 20 pounds from the robot. We also use lightweight materials such as carbon fiber at various points in the robot to help us achieve weight savings. In addition to shaving a lot of weight off of it, we were able to improve our joint layout in this robot from the prior one. We were able to narrow the hips up and we were able to widen the, the space between the knees. We were able to do that by nesting the two ankle motors together and that allowed us uh, to not have to move our legs out as far apart when we're walking um, and avoid collisions at the knee. For the knee joint, we also introduced a four bar linkage, which gives us a position dependent gear ratio that is optimized for stance and swing. The power transmission system on the Wander robot is the same that we'd used on the stepper robot. It's a rope on sheave system. We periodically need to tighten up the ropes to maintain tension in the system. On the prior robot, it would take about two hours per leg to do that. On this robot, it, we were able to narrow that down to about 10 minutes. So the benefit to this type of transmission is its high back drivability, and it's quite efficient, indicate, and an indication of that is it's nearly silent operation. Wanderer's four bar transmission has been optimized for multiple gates. The basic result of the optimization analysis is that during stance, the transmission provides a high gear ratio, and during swing, the transmission provides a low gear ratio, allowing the joint to back drive freely. By optimizing for multiple gates, we ensure that the robot can behave well in both present and future walking conditions. So in order to maximize the efficiency and performance of our motors, we utilized an open stator housing, where in this case you can see that the stator is exposed to the air. What this allows us to do is to cool the motors very efficiently, and in addition to that, we can also add fans to provide forced air cooling over the motor stator, which enhances the heat transfer significantly. For example, at the ankle motors, we've actually used forced air cooling in the form of these mini fans. And what this allows us to do is to blow air over our motor housings. And this enables us to improve the torque performance of our motors. Another way we were able to improve the heat transfer of our motors was by placing this flexible aluminum ring on top of the motor stators. What this enables us to do is to enhance the heat transfer path between the coils to the lid of the motors. We found using biomechanical analysis that both humans and bipedal robots demonstrate spring-like behavior at a couple of their joints, specifically the ankle and the hip. What this means is that if we place a spring in parallel with the motor, we can significantly reduce the motor torque. As a result, we were able to save a substantial amount of energy both at the ankle and at the hip during walking.
power level is good. Minutes. We're at four minutes. I think. I don't know. Wanderer made his public debut at the DARPA Robotics Challenge Finals Technology Expo. Our goal was to walk as long and as far as possible on a single battery charge. On the first day, we struggled with repeated sensor failures in Wanderer's feet. Still, Wanderer managed almost two kilometers before its battery died. Our engineers came up with a fix, and on the second day, things went much better. Wanderer walked more than four hours and covered 2.8 kilometers. Wanderer is a full-size humanoid robot with 29 degrees of freedom. Its drivetrain is nearly silent, and it requires just over 400 watts of power to walk. Based on lab performance, we anticipate a range of at least four kilometers, and it can operate an entire eight-hour shift on a single battery charge. There's a lot more to do to make Wanderer walk more quickly, to avoid and recover from falls, and to interact with the world. But so far, Wanderer has proven to be a great robot and we think it has a bright future for disaster response and other important work.